This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so we got the game. Got a Monte Carlo. A Monte Carlo, and uh, already Chief Keith wants to buy it, and game hasn't even really driven it around yet. It's a little greedy. I mean, you can buy one of these, you know? You can buy them and get them redone. Monte Carlo for sale. I think they have them. Is that a Monte? Yeah, that, that is a Monte Carlo, right? Or am I tripping? I'm pretty sure that's one version. Yeah, it is. Okay, here it is. It's a 1987. Okay. That's one of the more famous years. Most people have these. 81's big, too. I see these a lot, especially down south. They're dope cars. Little Wayne's 90s rap journal being sold by a man for $5 million after a messy legal battle. Wayne sued for ownership, but the man claims he found it in an old cash money records vehicle. So finders keepers. $5 million? Who would pay $5 million for this? I don't even think they're paying $5 million for a rap. Uh, Tupac memorabilia. So, uh, I don't think so. Tory Lanes bought bottles for every table at 44 Toronto. Why? You're in jail. It's not going to impress anybody enough to do anything. And it, it, you're better off donating to like uh, a, some type of cause or sending someone to school. I don't know. This is. This is going to be uh, forgotten by tomorrow. You know, this is a waste of money. Save your money for your legal defense. 50 Cent's baby mom, the original baby mom, and his son. She's shaking her butt while the son's in the photo. Ugh, spooky. <laughs> yeah, so spooky, bro. I ain't going to be in no video with my mom. She <laughs> shaking her around. You know, it's like, come on. The game announces he's going to be recording the documentary three. Game's got to be doing it for the love of it at this point. His his last album was good. I like his last album. I like the album before that. He could still rap. That didn't go away. It's just that the uh, the attention went away. So he's got to be. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing it for the love of it. It's just funny because you. I always think about what he said. You're 35 and you're still rapping. Ugh. What song was that? It was in the song One Blood with J Junior Reed, right? Yeah. And uh, he was talking about Jay-Z, but <laughs> didn't age well. T.I.'s son comes out and s claims he wasn't robbed. I didn't even know he was uh, violated. I guess somebody beat him up, but they didn't take his jewelry. Christian Rock facing eight years in jail facing eight years for she's being transferred to Oklahoma to face charges there she'll probably get a slap on the wrist though I don't think she's gonna get a year she'll probably get a few months and then be released she's just got lawyers and she's a celebrity I guess that helps <laughs> Kendrick Lamar dragged for a leaked Frank Ocean Knights verse People were saying he just be saying anything sometimes, playing with weird voices. People swear it's experimental. It sounds horrible. Half of his music is like that. If you're a Kendrick fan, you like it. But sometimes he just does whatever. He just goes up and down with his octaves. He talks in five different voices. But hey, that's what, you know, you're either going to be a fan of someone's music or not. It's his art, you know? That's that's my point. It's his art. It's not necessarily for me. I like certain songs by Kendrick. I don't like all of them. I like certain songs by Drake. I don't like all of them either. I'm going to be honest with you. Most artists are like that. Nas is like the most consistent for me, to be honest. Uh... Well, Kanye, of course, takes shots at Drake, Adidas, and everything on this album. So a lot of people aren't liking Vultures, too, I'm saying. The, the loyal Kanye fans love it. Some of them are just like, nah, this ain't it. But I'm going to tell you, I skimmed through it. And to me, 
it sounds musically better than most albums that come out today, obviously, you know, so I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about, dude. Um, anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you all. Let me know what you guys think of everything that's going on out here. And I'll check you guys in the next one.